What's going on guys? Doing a brake job, uh, brake pad job on my 2009 Kawasaki Brute 4 650. Um, and this is why. That, it's nothing but metal. Nothing but metal, matter of fact. That is a brand new, <laughs> a brand new brake pad right there. There's a little piece down there at the bottom. Um, yeah, nothing but metal. So, uh, I'm gonna put some new pads on this thing. I don't understand how this rotor is not just chewed up, uh, seeing as how it's just metal, but, uh, but it's not. Maybe, maybe the brake pad just kind of, you know, fell out of it. Uh, before it was able to do some some harm. Um, I don't know. Uh, this thing was given to me. I've uh, been sitting for a long time. So I uh, realized uh, once I finally got it running that it was not stopping very, very easily at all. Um, so I know why. Because there's the other one right there. Nothing but metal. So, changing the brake pads. After I get this done, uh, you know what I'll just do right now. So what I did first, at the back of the caliper here, you've got two bolts on the back side. Uh, 12, yeah, 12 mils. Uh, after you get those off, the caliper will, or the, uh, yeah, the caliper will come off. Then you gotta take two bolts off right here. These are Allen's. And this is a five millimeter Allen. This is what the bolt looks like on my 09. Um, mine was rusted in. It did need help coming out, but I just took the Allen, once I, once I got it all backed out, I took the Allen and put it into that hole right there and just kind of, I actually smacked it a couple times with these, uh, these needle nose and this, uh, this bolt came out the other side. Once you do that, the uh, the brake pads just come right out of there. Um, so now I'm just gonna take a clamp, compress these pistons right here, and uh, put the put the new pads in, put the good pads in. Okay, so got the new pads in, calipers all on, ready to go. I ran into a little bit of trouble getting these two bolts back in there. Uh, the ones that I told you that I had trouble getting out. I had to put the Allen uh, in there to, uh, you know, and then, and then kind of tap them out. Um, it was really gummed up in there. Um, and it, what I did to get that out of there, um, I had a, I have a, I have a lot of guns. So I have a lot of gun cleaning kits. And what I did is I took one of the, the, the brass brushes that you clean your, you know, your rifle barrel or whatever with. Put it in my drill, went in there with it. Whoops, sorry. Went in there with it, cleaned them out, and those uh, those bolts went straight in. So, you know, just just a little, a little trick or tip or whatever you want to call it uh, to kind of help you out if, if something like that happens to you. That's what I used. Um, like I said, went straight in. Um, the... The, the little one, you know, make sure these go in the right way. There's a little piece right here that holds onto this little fork. Um, here's the old one. Holds onto that little fork right there. Um, and, uh, sorry, it goes like this. Holds onto that. These go up in, in there to that caliper and uh, the bolts go through it. It was a little difficult. I had to, I had to put that uh, C-clamp back on there and push those pistons in a little bit more. But uh, you know, pretty pretty simple, and then just uh, just repeat it on the other side. So uh, uh, I believe. Let me get right down here. I'll show you one more time. Two five mils Allen, and then there's a twelve mil here, and another one right up in there, and then that's it. Um, these hold the caliper in once again, and this holds the these two down here hold the caliper onto the 
onto the little wheel assembly. Pretty simple. So uh, that's how you do it. 2009 Kawasaki Brute 4650.